Shout out to Visual Effects Pro for providing some stock footage in today's video tutorial. What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm John the Video Guy and it's going to be a cold one today because in this video tutorial we're going to be learning how to inside Adobe After Effects. So let's dive on in. Going to have to remove these gloves first. I can't touch the keyboard. All right, so the first step here, I have a video clip of a couple on a swing and we'll just add some breath to her mouth as she uh, is talking. So what we'll do first is we'll drag this into Adobe After Effects. And we'll create a new composition by clicking and dragging it to the new composition button. We can rename the composition by hitting return on the keyboard and we'll type this frosty breath. The next thing we'll do is trim this. So we'll go out in our timeline a little bit. Probably to around there is good. And if you hit function option, uh, begin bracket, you'll trim the start here. And if you hit function option, left arrow, it'll snap to the beginning of the composition. And we'll go to about four seconds or so. That's good. And if you hit option and bracket, they will close or trim that layer. And if you hit N on the keyboard, it'll trim the composition work area. And if you right click on the work area, you can choose trim comp to work area. And this will trim the composition just to that area. The next thing we'll do just to winterfy this a little bit more, we'll search for the curves effect and we'll colorize it. Click and drag it to the composition, to the layer, and we'll just bring down the overall luminance here. Then we'll go to blue and we'll boost the blue a little bit. Then we'll go to red and just decrease the red. That way we got more of a blue, colder look and feel happening here. And one other thing I'll do to winterize this even more is add in snow. Now I'll be using stock footage provided by Visual Effects Pro. So Visual Effects Pro has a lot of cool different elements from fire, gun effects, blood and gore, particles, smoke. In this example, I'm gonna be importing the snow overlay. You see that you get 4K and 2K files. I'm gonna import the 2K files. And what's nice with these is that they have alpha overlays, so you, these can go right over any footage inside Adobe After Effects or your editing software. And you get different fields of view. So, you know, if you have a wide shot, bird's eye view, close up, mid shot, I'm gonna do close up, zero two, and just click and drag over that. Now we got some nice snow falling in our scene. If you guys are interested, I'll link it down in the video description below. Feel free to go check them out. If you do purchase from them, be sure to use the coupon code JohnVlock at checkout to receive 15% off your order. Thank you Visual Effects Pro for providing some footage for this tutorial and now let's get back into it. Okay, so the next part in this to set up the frosty breath is to track the camera's position. Cause you know, when we try to add frosty breath, we wanna have it follow her, her mouth or her face at least. So what we'll do here is if you don't see the tracker window, be sure to go to window tracker to bring it up, click on the layer in the composition and click track camera and then click OK on the box. And what this will do is track the camera movement of the video footage. And if you go into effects controls, you'll see that the 3D camera tracker effect is applied. So it will take some time to solve the camera, but once it does, you can click create camera. What this will do is add a camera to your composition. And if you click on the 3D camera, you'll see that you have tracking points now set up. So next we'll create the frosty breath. If you go to layer, new solid, we'll name this frosty breath. Just make sure that it's comp size and click okay. Next we'll search for CC particle world. And this will be the particle system that we use to create the frosty breath effect. And what you'll notice right off the bat if you scrub the timeline, is that it's in 3D space. As if you look in the top left, it is a 3D effect and the camera is tracking the footage. So you don't have to worry about trying to align frame by frame the breath to her face as it's already tracking their motion. What we'll have to do next though is just adjust some of these settings and the effect to get it to conform to like a breath type of look. So here are the settings that you can adjust. First, we'll change the birth rate to 0.3. You can leave longevity at one. 
Then if you untwirl producer, what we'll do is change the radius first to 0 0.05, and we'll change the Y to 0 0.05, and we'll change the Z to zero. And when it comes to the position, we'll rearrange this a little bit later once we have a better idea of how this looks in the end. So we'll come back to that. Under physics, we'll change the animation to directional axis. Then we'll change the velocity to negative 0.5. And we'll change the gravity to about negative 0.4. And we'll change the resistance to 3. So it's holding it in a little bit more. You can see now it's starting to go up. And if you untwirl particle, we'll change the particle type from line to faded sphere. And we'll change the birth size to two and the death size to two as well. So it's the same size as it uh, gets created and dies. And then we'll change the variation to zero. Then you can change the color. You can do probably off white with a little blue tint maybe. We'll copy the hex code and go to the other one and paste it. So you got something that looks like that. Then under opacity map, if you untwirl this, what you can do is draw the opacity over time. So what we'll do is draw it so that it starts kind of opaque and then it slowly dies off as the breath fades. So you can see it starts almost full and then it fades off as it decays. And you can redraw this if you mess up or if you want to redo uh, how you kind of want the map to be. And what will also help with opacity, if you click on the solid layer itself, hit T on the keyboard, you can bring down the whole layer's opacity to like 50. That way it's more you know, opaque in general. And that's pretty much all the settings. Now the last thing we'll have to do is re go back into position and just reposition this whole particle system closer to our mouth. So we'll uh, do Z first, bring down the up the Z axis, and bring up the Y and the X, kind of over there. There we go. Now if we play this back, you can kind of see that we have breath coming out. And what we can do lastly is just animate this so it kind of matches her lips. So we'll just make a keyframe for birth rate, go forward a little bit, and then change it back to zero. That basically stops the breath. And then when she continues talking again, which is right here, we can make another keyframe. So if we click U on our keyboard, it'll bring up all the keyframes here. Make a diamond there. Go forward a little bit, then you can change it back to 0.3. And as she stops talking right about there, we'll make another keyframe. Go forward and go back down to zero. So we got something that looks like this. So you can readjust these keyframes if it's a little off. So here it is, this is our final animation. And we got a realistic frost breath effect happening inside Adobe After Effects. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you wanna learn more about After Effects and maybe some of the other effects that you can use to create some different looks and effects, I made a video going over the top 10 After Effects effects that I use in my projects. I'll link that video right up here. Feel free to go watch it to get some new ideas and inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.